Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today, I'm going to be ranking all 14 eyeshadow palettes that I tried in the month of May. So if you want to see a whole bunch of palettes ranked, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today and let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start off with my least favorite and work my way up to my most favorite and let's go ahead and get into it. It is so funny that I'm doing this ranking while not wearing eyeshadow. I literally just realized that and it's bugging me, but I'm going to power through it. I'm going to power through it. It's really late at night. I'm filming while my kiddos are sleeping. Like it's midnight, so I don't feel like scrubbing a shimmer off my eyes. So number 14, this one is um, from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Abu Dhabi palette. Um, they they recently released several mini palettes. This is part of their Nomad Air collection. I call it like a round two. And this palette, the quality is really nice. It's a beautiful formulation. I just simply do not reach for these warm tones on me personally. They don't flatter my skin tone. They look very orangey. I just honestly feel very insecure when I reach for shades like this. But I think it's a beautiful palette. It's a lovely formulation. It's just not for me. Number 13. I have a sneeze and every time I start talking, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So if I'm like looking funny, it's because I have to sneeze and it's not coming out. This one is Maria from Game Beauty. And let me just tell you, this collection, the Attack of Titan, they sent me this. And guys, this packaging is absolutely amazing. Like everything came in here. I'm obsessed with the glosses. I wear them constantly. I have one on my nightstand, one in my purse, one right beside me. They are incredible glosses. And this little palette is so beautiful. The quality is amazing as well. I just simply don't reach for blues all the time. I use this twice this month and I love the looks that I created. I forgot to take pictures of them. That's like my toxic trait. Sometimes I just want to play with makeup and not have to put a camera in front of my face and take a picture. I just want to enjoy the makeup for me and do it with no pressure. So I honestly really enjoy this palette. I just... I don't reach for blues all the time, you know what I'm saying? Number 12, this is from Alter Ego, the Mystique palette. And this is a dupe inspired by a palette for the Natasha Denona Circa Loca palette. I've got disease. It's just not meant to be. This video is going to be a struggle. I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, this is not Natasha Denona quality. I do not have the original Circo logo palette, but this is pretty. I feel like the shimmers are just very lackluster. My favorite shade in the palette, this is, it's like their cream to powder formulation, the shade Sky. I kept using this in my inner corner for every look that I did. And I love the pink up here, uh, Untamed. I, let me, leave it to me to create a neutral look with a beautiful, colorful palette. I think the colors is fun beautiful perfect for summer but i just need more from the shimmers is it beautiful and the quality is great yes but i want more you know what i'm saying so pair this with some indie singles and i would be happy but on its own i just need some more you know what i mean I have not used every shade in here, but I did use the majority. I filmed, I didn't film. I took a picture of one look. The other look I didn't, but I used all but like two shimmers in here. It's fun. I just expected more, you know? Number 11 goes to Senna. This is from Game Beauty. I love this color story. It's a little bit too warm for me, but honestly, I really did enjoy using it. This shade right here, it is such a beautiful shimmer. It just knocked my socks off. So this is a mini that honestly has it all for me. It has light shades, deep shades very special shimmer so I love the quality it's just hard to compare to like a huge palette which I'm honestly so overwhelmed and I'm so sick of big palettes but it's hard to like in these rankings to put a mini on top of like a huge palette like above it so just know that Game Beauty has an amazing formula it's just some of the color stories I'm not reaching for a lot and in my monthly ranking I want to know like which palette could I just not stop using you know what I mean so number 10 this goes to Nomad Cosmetics this is the Canadian Rockies palette and honestly these shimmers are very lackluster I expect more from Nomad the color story is beautiful this is my favorite shade in the palette I just I don't know there's something about the undertone of this it inspires me to play with this palette but with that being said a lot of these palettes I only use like two times because like we have so many palettes so it just kind of like worked out that way I did use this two different times and like I like the look I just I didn't love it you know what I mean so I, I do enjoy this palette the, the quality is nice it's just I would like to see better shimmers from from Nomad, but it's fine. Number nine, this is the Rose Palette. This honestly gives me like House of L vibes from Adept Cosmetics. This is so fun, perfect for summer or spring. I use this, uh, yeah, once 
I used it once on its own and then I actually reached into this for the shade right here, this beautiful multi-chrome. It's like purple, teal, blue. It is so pretty. So I reached for it one time on its own and I got such a beautiful colorful look and then one time I used my bronzer and I popped into this. So I honestly, I think this palette is so cute and I enjoy the quality. Um, it's just, like I said, it's a mini so that's why it's a little bit lower. Number eight, this is from Nomadic Cosmetics. This is the Oslo palette. Um, I love love me some cool tones this is honestly a lot of the times i would reach for this palette i'd get a very smoky silvery look but i do love which one is it right here natural and uh practical literally like me <laughs> i love just reaching into these two shades and calling it quit so i honestly love this palette it's just it's hard you know it's a mini it's a mini i'm sorry i love minis it's just oh guys this is where it gets good it gets real good number seven this is the cosmic dreamer palette from Inslee rain cosmetics this packaging is stunning the color story knocked my socks off i love the contrast with the warms the cools the matte formula from Inslee rain it's like tippity top tier one of my favorite natasha denone is like tippity top favorite and then it's probably like Inslee rain that's how much i love their mattes the shimmers in here are beautiful they're fine i just honestly i feel like typically from Inslee Rain they just bring it with the shimmer game and this is just like a little bit lower than their normal like normal I would say like cold moon harvest moon like those shimmers are just like next level these are a little bit more typical shimmers but they're still beautiful and lovely nonetheless I just wanted to point that out because if you have lots of Inslee Rain palettes there is a little bit of a different shimmer formula in here but oh, it is a beautiful nonetheless i love the packaging i love the mirror it's such a beautiful color story but it's large it is so large i would honestly really love to see Inslee rain come out with smaller palettes but that's just being me or that's just me being nitpicky i don't reach for large palettes all that often so i was reaching for minis over that one just because they're just easier to grab throw them a purse and go you know what i mean so this one this next one is number six this is the cradled in ice palette from a fantasy cosmetica <laughs> this i love fantasy cosmetica's formula it's another like they have come such a long way their mattes are so beautiful now this is just perfection i love this side of the palette i can do so much with it and i've honestly been enjoying these blues they I, i'm kind of tiptoeing more into blues and these are blues that i can get down with so honestly this like the color story is genius the formula is exceptional it's just the reason why it's not like number one it's just because i have i have some color stories that i gravitate more more to but I feel like maybe during the fall I would reach for this more or like winter like into fall beginning of winter it's just not the time of the season for me for me to reach for these tones but it is perfection and I'm just I'm so excited every time fantasy cosmetica comes out with stuff I'm like oh, what is it ah and like their brushes they're all in front of me I don't want to knock my camera over but this one like stays with me like it's always within arm's reach this is the e05 this is such a beautiful fluffy blender and I just I always have to have it nearby like I'm not even kidding wherever I'm at I'm like I got my brush <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter like the wand because this brush is massive so sorry guys I just wanted to rant and just rave about Fantasy Cosmetica because I have been loving their collections and Cradled in Ice is going to be the dreamiest winter palette so let's see and number five oh this is the coastal palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics this is a little bit newer to me but I've used every single shade in the palette so I feel like I can definitely rank it for you because I know the formula it's beautiful this color story is so dreamy perfect for summer but honestly if you don't want like a very neon summer palette and you just want color but toned down this is amazing because it's still fun it's not just like a boring basic neutral palette you have so many fun shades in here and the formula is beautiful you have so many dual chromes in here I mean the packaging is nice as well I love uh, simply posh how they always have such unique color stories and just the way they lay them out it makes it so easy to create looks so I love this palette love the quality love the formula all of it it's 10 out of 10 for me I just guys this ranking was like we're at the point the past few palettes like it was so hard to rank I just kind of wanted to see which ones did I reach for the most which ones inspired me the most so next this is a flower moon from Inslee rain cosmetics this is the newer upgraded version so keep that in mind 
it just takes my breath away like the shimmers are so yummy beautiful the, but the mattes that's what put this above the uh simply posh one just because i reach for these shades so often i just love me these tones you know what i mean and the shimmers like i just open this sometimes i know y'all do that because y'all have said that i just open it and just look at and admire my <laughs> palettes and i'll always go to Inslee rain and just open i'm like oh it's so pretty even if like i'm reaching for a different palette that day i just open i'm like hey girl i need to use you soon you know what i mean so i love the formula 10 out of 10 next this is a number three okay my top three were incredibly hard to rank honestly i was going to push this ranking into june i was like no i'm i've been so bad about that because there have been amazing palettes and it honestly overwhelms me and i'm like stop just rank your dang palettes you know so number three just keep in mind i use this the most this year this is from adept cosmetics this is the amy loves palette i I cannot bl I wasn't even gonna buy this. I was gonna completely skip it. And then I was like, but do I want it? No. And I'm like, do I want it? They sent it to me. They sent it to me. And I'm so excited because I fell in love, fell in love with this palette. It is stunning. It's cool tone, but honestly, it is so wearable. I have worn this the most this month. Even my daughter, she had her first dance. She wore the shade Lights Up, and I mixed it with 1997. And she looked so ethereal. So I don't know. This palette, I just see it and I'm like, oh, timeless, classy, but amped up, fun pops of color. You may look at it and be like, oh, the mattes are so similar. The shimmers, like there's not enough difference. I promise you, when you get this in person, you will see the magic and just how beautiful it is. And Adept, they don't miss. Their formula is impeccable. So I'm so thankful they sent this over to me because I, it's honestly, this could very well be my favorite cool tone palette in my entire collection just because of how beautiful it looks on the eyes i could not stop re reaching for this even my daughter picked it out of all the palettes in my collection that's the one she wanted for her dance so i feel like that's special and that means something so number two this is a secret garden palette from bella beauty bar and i just don't like the like the packaging how there's no contrast not my favorite packaging from them it is so large this is like I was, I'm so sick of large palettes. Let me just like rant about this for a minute and then I'll tell you all the good. I'm sick of large palettes. I'm sick of pinks. I, d I just, I don't want pinks. But I bought the palette <laughs> because holy moly, the shimmers. Uh, let's see, is that Serenity, um, Oasis? There's so many shimmers in here that knocked my socks off. But I had to have it, guys, because the shimmers are so freaking pretty. Are they anything revolutionary, anything different? If you have a really big indie collection, probably not. But the shade Oasis and Serenity, for me, honestly, just make it all the best. Like, I just, I reach for these shades so often. That's why it came in at number two. It's not because I used it the most. It's because of the shimmers. I just could not stop reaching in for just a few of these shimmers so and i love how they have some neutrals up here some i love neutrals and i love greens but the pinks the pinks are frustrating me because i don't always reach for them but it's still such an amazing palette the reason why i ranked it above the amy loves palette is only because i could get so many different looks out of this palette whereas it i mean the amy palette my accent is really coming out because it's super late I can only get cool tone looks, whereas with Secret Garden, like, you can get any look you want, you know what I mean? Now, number one, I was not, I was very hesitant to rank this, but I've actually used this six times already, so, you know, it's safe to say that I need to rank this, because I use this more than some of the other palettes, like some of the minis. This is the Electrum Cosmetics Midnight Moth Palette. <sighs> this palette, guys, has my heart, my soul. It is so beautiful next level we have a mirror we have magnetic pants we have a beautiful grungy wearable fall just yummy color story the shimmers are outstanding they are beautiful i have a review on a lot of these palettes that i mentioned today but I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I'll definitely link my, uh, my, all my reviews down below in case you want to see looks, swatches, all the things, but just keep in mind, like, this palette right here is going to be Tiffany top favorite at the end of the year. It is honestly, like, probably the, my favorite palette that has launched this year. I know that's a bold statement, but just 
I know she's shiny and new. I'll have to update you in a few months. But so far, like pretty much my favorite palette that's launched. I feel the most inspired to pick this up and just throw it all over my eyes. So, anyways, guys, that wraps up the 14 palettes that I tried. I actually have this one from Cosmic Brushes that I haven't even dipped into yet because I have so many palettes. I was like, I just, I actually physically cannot test this. So, it's going to be in June. We're going to have winter in June, but honestly, I was so overwhelmed. I was like, just get this ranking done so I can, I say file, I can file these palettes into my collection and take a breather and just play with some of my tried and true palettes, like some of my Adept, my Glam and Natrix, just tried and true palettes that I want to dip into and stop testing so many new palettes. I'm sure it's not going to slow down. I'm sure we're going to have so many more palette launches, but honestly... I'm fine if it does slow down. Let me know some palettes you have been loving this month. Any new, any old? Are you loving some singles? I actually did place a Terra Moons haul. When I say haul, I only bought six shadows, but it was $100. So to me, that's a huge epic haul. Anyways, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.